Hey guys, don't be surprised if Tesla stock okay, sells off more and goes into the mid 100s. Remember this stock was up over 100% in 2023 and it's going to cool off most likely because EV demand is really struggling. We know Musk cut prices in the US as well as China. So it clearly shows that and that's gonna affect their operating margin. So I can see this stock selling off, okay, at earnings, unless Elon Musk, you know, says something amazing about you know, guidance in the future, which I don't see until interest rate cuts actually happen. I don't see there being too much to hang your hat on right now with Tesla stock for the foreseeable future. But I do believe they have many different growing businesses in their pipeline. And eventually this stock will get out, out of the rut that it's in, but it's going to take some time. So that's why I'm saying if you, you are patient, you can buy this stock cheaper, I believe, in the hundreds, probably around, you know, 150, 160, somewhere in there. Some analysts think it's going to go to 100 or less. I don't think it's going to drop that much because especially if interest rate cuts do happen in March, I do don't, I, I think it could actually happen in June now instead of March. We've already seen the odds coming down because the economy is staying hot with the labor market and consumer spending. So if the Fed does not cut in March, you can expect Tesla to go down more, like I said, in the mid 100s probably. And then that's a better time to be buying more shares, right? And if you are buying now, it's okay if you're slowly doing it. Because like I said, if you have the long-term mindset, you're going to come out on the other end, you know, a couple years down the road, better for it, okay? But like I said, you have to have the stomach to watch the stock go down. But I like Tesla Long because they have the Super Dojo computer, right? They have solar energy. They have the semi, the cyber truck, right? The Tesla robots. There's a lot of reasons to be excited about the future. But the problem is right now with EV demand slowing down and Tesla having, you know, a price earnings, forward price earnings of 58 compared to, you know, six to eight forward price earnings for like GM and Ford and those companies. It's hard for a lot of people to see, you know, this high valuation. But trust me, people always come back to Tesla. They have the cult following. And once interest rate gets interest rates get cut, that's when people will flock back to the stock and buy it again. But like I said, in the near term, in the next, over the next couple months, especially if the earnings, you know, show a weaker operating margin and not any better with guidance for the next quarter, you can expect this stock to sell off more.